Okay, so to make this two sensor line following program, uh, there are a few very simple steps and I'll guide you through it. So let me recenter this. We'll have a loop and I have this loop set on unlimited, but if you're gonna add this to your own program, you probably have a different condition. And then one switch loop, and then on the like the X condition, we're gonna have to nest another switch loop. And let me pull this out and reset it. Okay, here we go. Now, since this is a color sensor program, we're gonna have to change this to color sensor compare reflected light intensity on both of them. And my first color sensor, which is on the left, is plugged into port one. And my second color sensor, which is on the right, is plugged into port two. But your ports may be different. And we need to change the compare type to five on both of them. Now, this is going to be different for every single like, color sensor, unless you have calibrated it. But uh, go to port view on your EV3 brick and put your color sensor over the color black and look at the reflected light intensity and then input that value so i have a black and white table so anything less than or equal to 15 which my which was my value on both of them which is black so anything less than 15 is going to be black and anything greater than is going to be white and now in these three loops put in the steering wheel block Okay, and turn all of them on. And on these three steering wheel blocks, set them all to power 25, because that's the optimal power. If you're going too slow, you're going to bore yourself to death. And if you're going too fast, the robot won't have enough time to make the correct uh, the corrections. It needs to stay, and, uh, stay on the line and keep following it. And then on the steering... The, uh, the one in like the check marked loop, the first, the top steering wheel block. I'm gonna uh, put this on negative 15. This one's gonna be on 15. And this one's gonna be on zero, which is straight. Now, you could increase this value, but if you increase this value, the robot's gonna make sharp returns. And if you decrease this value, it's gonna make very smooth turns. But if your line is not straight, like if the black line you're following is not straight and it curves a little bit then your robot could just drive right off it and yeah so it's good to have like a value like 15 which is like in the middle of too high and too low and the power 25 is in the middle as well because like i said earlier um too slow you'll bore yourself to death and too fast your robot won't have time to make corrections and now let me just go over what your the program does so once again, the loop is in unlimited for tutorial purposes, which means whatever is inside this loop is going to happen in an unlimited amount of times. Uh, the first switch loop, which is on port 1, uh, my color sensor on the left, is going to uh, look for... So if the left color sensor, if that sees the black line, which it shouldn't, then it knows it's gone too far right, and then this is going to make it go left. And then if the second color sensor, which is on the right, sees the line, then it knows it has gone too far left, and then it's going to turn right. And if none of the color sensors sees black, then they know that they're in the correct position and they're going to keep going forward. And that's basically what the program does. On to the demonstration.